love it or leave it. Now it's time for the rant wheel. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't complained about a single thing for weeks, so let's do this. On the wheel, we have the 2024 Republican candidate playlist, as was published by Politico. We have people who say they like people watching. We have using social media to go viral. We have Beyonce wondering why people couldn't go on mute. We have being single over 30. We have Tom Hardy's American accent. We have the British Royals. And we have Kyle XY only getting three seasons. <laughs> Very specific, very wow. specific. Is that the guy with no belly button? Yeah, no belly yes. button. You remember the poster at the mall. Yeah, he was hot, oh except for the God. no belly button thing. That, that was weird. Wow. That, that was so my, that was, uh, yeah. Let's spin the wheel. <laughs> How will you do a body shot? Oh, here we go. It has landed on Beyonce wondering why people mm, couldn't go on mute. Thank, thank you so Jake. much. Um, it's me, Beyonce. Um, like it's Beyonce thank here. you so much. Uh, it's a it's amazing to be here with y'all. Um, <laughs> it's incredible. Um, you know, I'm so thankful. Um, it's incredible. Thank you so much um, for selling out three shows. At Sophie Stadium. Thank you so much. <laughs> Do Jay Zeno. Um, <laughs> um, I just don't understand why y'all couldn't go on mute. Um, y'all saw them stupid. videos um, where everybody was going on mute, uh, but people in the nosebleeds um, just didn't do it. And I don't know why. Why it's so hard to flex like Helen Keller, but. Um, <laughs> It's okay. There's three shows left, and I need y'all to go on mute um, when I say go on mute. Thank you so much. It's me, Beyonce, and I'm so thankful. It's a blessing. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is correct. Innocent. <laughs> Innocent. That was yes. good. That was a very good impression. Thank you so much. <laughs> There's so many videos of her this weekend saying, thank you so much. You had it in your phone. I had messages of people telling me they thought of me when they watched her talk because thank you so much is what all she's saying. That's all she's be saying. So much she's be so thankful, thankful. It's a gratitude tour. Thank you so much. Go on mute. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's spin it again. Ooh. Using oh, social yes. media to go viral, which I believe was suggested by Congressman Rokana. I was hoping I didn't have to follow that, but I guess. <laughs> <laughs> do an accent. Do it, do it, do it. The only accent I know is an Indian accent. I'm not do doing it, that. Do it, do it. <laughs> Sell out your people. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'll leave that for the Republicans. They got two Indians running. Uh, oh, wow. They, uh, you know, I my my rant, they said, what do you want to rant about? I said, why does everyone in this country suddenly have a rant? Like, you go on social media, everyone seems to be upset about something, ranting on something. Even, even the most thoughtful, nuanced writers, professors, they go on social media, it's one long rant. And Well, they're bored and, right now. So. You know, they, uh, and, and then they want to, and then everyone, you know, I, I do it too. You want, you count how many retweets you have, likes you have, and then you, it's like this empty feeling at the end of it. We did all of that ranting. How about we just stop ranting just for, 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 for one day? But what have would a we no, watch? No rant, rant social media. What would we watch? I don't know. He's we'll watch you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, sort of a tough rant mid-segment. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> little heads up, heads up next time. Like, hey, I'm going to fucking fuck this whole thing up. <laughs> <laughs> Make you seem like a real chump when you try to rant about something you saw on the news next. Uh, no, but it's such an important point during this segment called The Rant Wheel, our beloved and famous segment of The Rant Wheel. We are part of the problem, and we're doing nothing to change it. <laughs> social media now that's Celtic to take my thing and make it funny say there you go no I but one thing I've noticed is there's a certain kind of academic that goes on social media they lose all faculties they just sort of you're like oh no I thought you were really good yeah, and that, like, yeah, they were like you smart and, yes. make and you're like just, you're a nut oh. yeah then they go into it I mean it's like that the, the, you lose all sense of how people talk I mean, maybe not on this rant section, but like normal, <laughs> like normal conversation. You know, you go on social media, and it's just like people lose it. Yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good, but he, but he's right though. Like people go on social media, and they become the thing that they think they're supposed to be. Yeah. Well, obnoxious. They're also, as fuck. yeah, they're also playing a character for, yes. for views. Yeah. Yes. Well, the thing that I, if I was just a little bit stronger, I'd be out completely. But 
you can't really name a person that you know whose online persona you like even close to as much as their real life persona. You cannot think of a person mm. who you meet on in life and you're like, God, they're worse than how they are on the internet. Yeah. It doesn't exist. Yeah. Yes, it does. Who <laughs> is it? Who is it? I would have to think it about does. it, but I feel like I could pull <laughs> a few names. Who's worse than they you are know what, on them, the internet? I can put on mute. Yeah, all right. That's I true. Relax. I see what you mean. Who is what? I don't do social media because it's beneath me. Like I'm not a TikTok. Oh. It's beneath me in every way. I'm, not <laughs> okay. a I'm actually funny in real life. I don't, okay. need to I don't do the TikTok either. either my 19 year old social media. Yeah, my, my team are like, no, nice. they know on how to socials, use it. Be on TikTok. I'm like, no. I don't want to be because I don't want to be a TikTok comedian in yeah. the same bracket as a girl that know, eats girl. bananas they make some, they and farts. I don't. What? They make some money. I've got money. They Do you need shoes? Let me <laughs> I'm good. Hey, London, I, I didn't funny, say you money. didn't make money. I make funny money, TikTok money. I'm just, it's just beneath me. Uh, none of the social media? I'm on it, but like begrudgingly, like I'm just like, Same, uh, I'm begrudgingly like, on it too. Uh, I wish I never had to log into yeah, it again. Yeah, I wish I didn't. And I'm not going to be dancing and doing miming along to some bullshit for stuff. It's evolved now. You don't have to do that as much on TikTok. Because oh, really? that's why I refuse as well. I'm like, I can't dance. Yeah, can't you? So oh, I can't be on TikTok. I'm a great dancer. Let's spin it again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it has landed on the 2024 candidate playlist. And this is something that I put on there for a very specific reason. Oh. That he can't find. There you go. Here we go. So Buckle I up, don't, everybody. So here's all I want to say about this. You know, it had all your it had all the things you would have expected. Chris Christie uh, likes Bruce Springsteen. Uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, his first song is Eminem. Uh the the but what stopped me in my tracks is I'm on Nikki Haley's list and it says Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. No, oh. the country dude that read Luke read, yeah. Combs. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I don't. I love covers. I think there's beautiful and amazing covers. Uh, I think it's cool that in Aretha Franklin's cover of Eleanor Rigby, she starts by saying, I'm Eleanor Rigby. That always thought that was the coolest fucking thing. Whitney Houston uh, covering um, uh, Dolly Parton's, Dolly Parton's will, song, I will, I, will I Will Always Love You. I Will Always Love, I will you. Always love you. Famously repeated, mostly, the, that's it, that is the lyric. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of great covers out there. This is this is a fun segment. This is great. Ouch. Um, <laughs> what we is had a whole payback? conversation about the 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 what's what what why are you trying to you're doing the thing you're bullying me I am, am bullying I shining you. too brightly is it you. is my light threatening to you it's, no I want you to shine more I want I'm on your team listen <laughs> hey, as a bully I will say she's not bullying you you're just caving too quickly <laughs> caving too quickly ah. caving in. Why are you siding with guests? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here every goddamn week. The point I was going to make yeah, is... Yeah, what's the point? Sorry. Yeah. Your favorite song, one of your favorite songs is Fast Car, but but not the one by Tracy Chapman. That is cuckoo She's trying to fucking, pander to the bass. But yeah. here's the thing. And just as a cover, it's like... That song, like... I, There's something so like, wow, can you believe it? He's a he's singing that song and he's making it he's making it work. People love that. I'm sure they do. They do. They love that. I'm it's, sorry. It's but. on the Spotify hits playlist when that I skip I yeah. skip it it's because John, of the, because works. of the algorithms. This guy can't seem to stop. <laughs> <laughs> right it's Congress in Silicon Valley's fault. And that's really the most important thing. Yeah, because she was like the most normal one on the stage, and now the song. Now I'm going to have to view it in all Nikki all Haley's the most normal one on the stage. Oh, wow. Well, well, that's a, a lot. Stage. Yeah. Yeah. That's wow. a good stage. Well, I think that's... Honestly, though, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I agree. He's right. Yeah. Like she was like, climate change isn't a hoax or something. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's a low she bar. She said it isn't? Bold statement well, no, for no, a Republican she was, to make. <laughs> she, she, she was at least... I, you know, I believe least, that climate change you know, is just Jesus hugging us a little closer. Here's the thing. Hey, I didn't make that up. That's Tina Fey when she was uh, impersonating what's Nick the dumb one from Ar from Alaska? Oh, Palin, so, Palin, so, Palin. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Palin. Nikki Haley was at least like evasive and like avoided the question, which is like what Republicans used to do. Right now, they just are like climate change is a hoax. So like, I I prefer the party that just avoided the questions and <laughs> you know they, <laughs> did the spin. At least they were were pretending. They'd be like, my God, there. there's just no room under that bar. 
There's a bad, <laughs> that, bar is, that bar is on the fucking ground. Let's spit it again. Is there something you can take from what I just did and make it in part of the show? <laughs> it has landed on the British Royals. Oh, that's mine. I'm just so fucking. Be sick careful, because you got a British royal sitting you know next what? to you. I know. Okay. I'm not talking about you. I'm okay. talking about the ones who don't want to be royals, but then don't and want their privacy, but they're everywhere. And oh, take pictures of me and da, 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 just go away. Yes. <laughs> Tell us the um. How you really it, feel? Queen. Go away. You want privacy? Great. That's fine. Just go away. Where's, they they went away. They're in Montecito. No, that's not going away. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not sympathetic to Harry. Or the whole thing? No. I mean, I don't know him personally. This <laughs> okay. isn't a, no, a personal what, what jab. Like Why are you saying that? Because we're both no, gingers? No, because there was like race. <laughs> are you ginger? <laughs> no, because you're both white. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. The hmm. Of all I the just no elaborate. No, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm no. Sorry, I just like feel like they are a like, huge expense to, to the more? British public, okay. and they do nothing for them. The ro- the ones okay. in the ones in the castles. Yeah, talk about the real. The ones that are all of them. All right. Yeah. So, all right. You can go yeah. for that, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Do you see? Did they ever find out? You know, we don't know what's wrong with Mitch McConnell. Did they ever find out what's going on with Charles's hands? I know. It's just he's got kings. Fingers. He's got big chunky, oh, no, big chunky fingers. King fingers. Like that. I don't like him. <laughs> I, but can I just say, Prince Prince Charles, because I always call him Prince Charles, but he's a king now. So King Prince Charles, basically. <laughs> <laughs> the, the 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 prince formerly the, the king, king formerly known, known as prince. prince. The king yeah, formerly yeah, yeah. known as prince. The king did, formerly known as I prince. I did a gig <laughs> for oil, for Royal Armed Forces Day. I did stand up, and he I was the only black girl there, and he made, made a beeline to me, and he said I was far too pretty to be a comedian. Oh, I know, and I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult, but yeah. I kind of am like. Oh, is, he really ugly, is he saying so that yeah, all yeah, yeah, I, aren't I don't know, but he was just like, I, I would have to say, I, I, I just think you're far too pretty to be a comedian. I was like, oh, I'll suck your dick. It was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Natasha Legero has a great joke because she used to have people say that to her. It went, uh, people always tell me I'm too pretty to be a comedian, and I always tell the guy, you're too ugly to be talking to me. So that's yes. how you should have <laughs> said. But like, the God thing bless is, Natasha Legero. It's the funny. same energy but Prince Charles could get it though like he's not too let me tell you why let me tell you why let me tell you why there was a rumor back in the day right that Prince Charles was secretly having a a liaison with one of the three degrees the singers right so he's into black girls and that's why just because he's into black girls he can get it wait that's why that's why no. Harry and Meghan is like such a thing because oh, he's just like his father. But with Prince Charles, the thing I like about him is but he is has he money. Father? And so for that reason, yes, I would kick it with him. Yes. And money taken from half the world. But that's yeah. you know what? To be fair. <laughs> yeah. To be fair. Yeah, that all, that all those right. beautiful palaces that <laughs> yes. colonialism built. That is so true. I take it back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that dirty money. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want that. I don't Danny want it. Dick. I don't even, want it, Prince King Charles. It still spends. You know, it's that credit. The, cre- the card still swipes. No one needs to know that it came from art that's in no, the Ashmolean. No, it really came you know? from. It was like the way the British Museum is just so fucked up. Just stole everyone's shit and then put it in a museum and then charged them to look at it. It's crazy. Like colonialism is really bad, guys. <laughs> like seriously. And and I'm so and look, glad you finally said it's it. So bad. <laughs> So and, and, and I think that and look, so if there was one thing that really, tonight's show really was all about. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't, you know, sure, he's rich. <laughs> yes. But at what cost? Yeah. At guys. What cost. Yeah. And that's our show. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Wait, it's oh, we have one more rant. Yeah. Spin it again. Oh wait, he forgot my well, rant. Because you, you gave us. Oh, a, look well, at that. You took. You well, kind of took, took over. You kind of took over my there rant. There we so. go. No. Is, uh, let me change it. I, I don't like you. My rant is about you. <laughs> I came on your show. You looked away from me. You didn't. Even, you forgot that I had a rant. You're disrespectful. I don't like it. Yeah. I want to leave it. I don't love it. <laughs> Oh. Would you just do that for anything? Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was something you reserved for moments no. of happiness. No. no. It has landed on being single over 30. Okay, yes. My rant is <laughs> shock. Um, my rant is it's so annoying being single over 30 because being single in your 20s is fun and I loved it. I actually was single on purpose. But being single in your 30s as a woman, like you've missed the first draft of good men because they're all married. So you're in the second draft. I went on a date with a guy who told me he was a director 
but it turns out he was of a, a director, train, director of a train of a funeral home. Oh. <laughs> so this is the thing, and like the thing is, he was married <laughs> as well. So he's like, I mean, at I, least I you know it's low stress. They're true, but yeah. still, I just feel like it's not fair on me. I'm a queen, and I've got all these paupers that I'm mingling with. And then the more the older you get in your thirties, the more money you make as a woman, the more successful you are. The smaller your dating pool gets, and now my dating history is like a who's who of Uber drivers, and I <laughs> do not like it. So I don't like being single over thirty. And uh, yeah, that's my rant. Well. Thank you for sharing that. And I'll just say, I was thinking about that, which is I accidentally wasn't single in my 30s. I decided to be single in my late 20s and then early 40s. Happened. Uh, so I just skipped it. I never did single in my 30s. Uh. Wasn't single in my 30s for even one second. Mm. Um, yeah, my husband and I have been together since I was 22. This All right. is the no, thing. Wait, wait, no, shut no, up. But no, shut I, up. I, 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 but you guys got <laughs> to be single now. Are we escorted out of no. here? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the yeah, thing. Everybody, boom. And the thing is, like, I can't even talk to my single... Like, I, I, I have single girls and we're all saying the same shit, but then my other friends are like married with kids and I can't talk to them. They don't get it. I'm out here. They're there with babies and I'm out here sucking dick in the trenches. It's not the same. So, like, they can't relate to my life. And then, well, like, that I is just how have, they got babies. Well, that's true. Yeah. But it's just like I need new friends now. I need Wait, single girl friends. All my married friends are boring. And it's just like, ugh. It's just hard. I don't like it. Yeah. Do you understand? No, I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do. You want to touch on it? You want to say anything else? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just going to... We'll just sit here then. Um, when we come back... <laughs> we'll end on a high note. <laughs> 